Hey, to sad to live. Okay, so previously on the Cape Crawlers, you guys managed to rescue Qualia from the clutches of the wolves and actually managed to capture and begun the process of taming one. On your way towards uh, Yaikaster, you encountered a high end trading caravan. A little bit of gambling from our Kenku friend, and a little bit of trading later, you guys actually managed to purchase two slaves. Fortunately, however, your hearts are in the right place, and you set them free and ask them to continue with you on your adventure. Hesitant as though they be, they agreed to join, at least for now. And right as the dawn of the first day of for this first proper day and the last day of travel till you get to the prison city of Yaikaster. <gasps> oh, you're right. We're doing murder mystery. Yep. We're going to fucking with lose. The, with the dawn, what are you guys doing? You're just going to pack up and start traveling? Pack up and start traveling. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You get you take off the six of you. Wait, six. six? <laughs> What's going Isn't on? Isn't it seven? Did uh, that sure. one guy you... run away in the middle of the night? Wait, did you only say six people? Is that oh, one they're... guy oh, they... went away in the middle of the night? Uh, the bull you girl. Don't seem to see the druid. Oh my god! That one's interesting. Well, he's gone. Let's go. Come on. Whoa, 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 can I, can I look, search around, and, like, investigate and see if he, like, walked into the forest? Like, Roll a perception check. Perception. Fuck. Well, sounds like it's going splendid already. I, I was hoping yeah. for an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> what if he sleeping yeah. with the perception? You don't see a trail. Anyone else see anything? Can you guys help search? I can try and search. Like, I just right. want to know, like, he didn't die. Like, I'll, let, just... I'll let Squeak do another roll, but he's going to be the last one, so this is the all or nothing. Uh, what is the perception, right? Yep, perception. Uh, let's see. How is your perception? Oh, my thing is lagging. Okay, it's 17. Nice. That's a lot better. You notice a trail heading off to the, into the woods to the right side of the cart. It's not hidden at all. Oh. So good. It's just blind. Okay. <laughs> not yet. Excuse me. Uh, I guess, yeah, I'd say I follow it. You're going to follow the trail? A little bit. Uh, yeah, I can I... Okay, would I tell if it's long enough, or do I only see it off to the cart? Uh, rephrase the question, please. Okay, do I see up to the cart at the moment, or do I see a little bit further than that? You can see to the tree line, which is about uh, 10 feet away from the road. We can't take the cart with us. I'd say leave someone back, and I just go, yeah, let's, I'll just walk the trail. Okay, Hoth will stay behind. There we go. Uh, uh, since we're going into the tree, uh, into the forest, I mean, uh, can I do, uh, can I leave marks with my dagger on, on the front trees? I have a proposal. Uh huh. Hmm. What if we only go in there for about five minutes, and if the trail keeps on going, we'll just assume that he like went off to go be free, because that could be an entire possibility, and we could just start getting stuck out there for days as it just keeps on going. I would like to point out that one of you has a literal homing beacon on the cart. Hi. So. If you want to do a very quick stunt and you're worried about getting lost, one of you can easily find their way back. Yeah. That homing beacon is going to prove useful for the rest of the campaign. I can feel it already. Unless I die. Well, then it becomes unattuned, so anyone can attune to oh, it. What? Pog. So just don't lose it. 
Or if Koalia's okay. headed in a really good spot on the cart, then that might be a problem. So if I see the trail up to 10 uh, feet, I want to follow up to there and um, I, I guess check I again. For the attunement thing, uh, I do want to squeak and crib to have seen where I put it. Wow. Noted. Damn. Wow, Hop doesn't get it either. Yeah. Yep. Oof. I mean, Huff, Huff he wasn't here yet. There for that. Uh, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not planning on showing him uh, it either. Okay. All right. Be... So, back to Squeak. You walk the ten feet into the, into the tree line. Are you going over the tree line, past the bushes, into the forest proper? If I can still continue to the trail, I want to walk in a little bit more. Okay. You walk about 30 feet into the forest when you t when the trail turns a little bit to the left, and he's right there. Oh. Yeah, they're really chilling. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what's saying off the, off the bird. Wait a minute. Uh, am I there too? Yes. Yeah. I want to make the woodpecker sound. Because if I'm trying to like knock on the door. <laughs> uh, if he answers to that, I want to just say, "Hey, by the way, we're heading out. If you want to join us on the trip." He responds with, "I will follow alongside, but I'm not comfortable being on the roads." That is perfectly fair. Yeah, you can hide out in the woods on the side and just walk. And at that moment, you guys watch as he kind of kneels down onto the forest floor and transforms into a giant predator hawk. And then just takes off into the sky. That works too. Well, he's a druid, that works. <laughs> That's Alright, let's go party. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just walk around the cart and hop onto it. Okay. So, who's watching front? Who's watching back? Uh, I would like to watch I'm back. watching front. Okay. Da, 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 da. Perception? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I will oh, roll 15. your encounter die to Ooh, see if I can game. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> what the actual... Did you get another 20? Hmm? That doesn't sound like a good 20? what the actual... Dragon comes down out of nowhere and kills everyone. <laughs> Go! Why do you guys constantly get natural 20s for your encounter walls? <laughs> I am running out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> give me a gun. A boy named Peter. Give, give me the gun. Give Hold us on. all a gun. A boy named Peter comes out of the forest. No, just a gun appears out of fucking nowhere. Smokey takes it. No. <laughs> yes. Stop trying so hard. I'm trying to give an idea that could be fun. A younger boy dressed in green appears out of nowhere. Hmm. That's not where I, I'm. I was looking at Peter the music <laughs> bot, and not like Peter Pan. No, no, I'm not no, 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 You know what? Uh, Again, too many natural twenties. I'm rerolling. What? <laughs> Damn. Oh, really? It's another it's natural, natural twenty. <laughs> nope, yeah. it's not a natural twenty. It's oh. almost the opposite. One. Oh, oh it's gonna be two because you said almost. Three. Okay. Three. So who? Um, Squeak is watching front. What would you get? 19. Okay. And Quali is watching the back. What'd you get? 15. Okay. And I will roll perception for your overhead protection. And that's a two. So oh. he's not helping. Oh my god, a blind hog. <laughs> yeah, he's just enjoying the freedom beneath his wings at the moment. Not really going to be helping <laughs> watch the cart. Can you blame him? No. <laughs> Not at all, really. 
He's been kept up. About half, about three fourths the way through the day, you're going past a bend that's curving slightly to the left. When squeak, you notice ahead about half a mile something shiny about five <laughs> feet off the road to the right. Do you oh. do I mean, I just see something shiny, nothing else, really. Yeah. Alright, you're about uh, about 10 minutes later, it's only about 50 feet in front of the cart at the moment, and you're gaining on it. Uh... And now you noticed a second shiny thing to the left of the cart now. So oh. one to the left, one to the right. Also about five English. feet. Hold on, is that a person? Are those people? What is the shiny thing? We just know it's, it's something armor. shiny, nothing it's else. Gonna armor. It's gonna be armor. Someone's wearing armor and it's about to attack us. Yeah, can, can I? Can I? I just wanna keep everyone alert because I don't know what it is. I just see that there's more shiny stuff coming in towards us. So I just wanna do a little, like, bird screech and that's it. Okay. So you can just go not like, keep... Not loud. Enough for like everyone else to hear, like loud enough for the people close to the car to hear. So, you're not gonna do anything? No, you did. Also, screeching, keep moving on. I can't, it's just to keep yeah, everyone alert. Screeching. Yeah, so you're not gonna do anything else besides that. You're gonna keep going with the cart? Yeah. Basically, 20... more, everyone in this call is aware now, is what I'm okay. saying. 20 That's... feet. Ten feet. Can you inve can I investigate? Can I can I look at it further? Try to like. You'd have to them? stop the cart first. Why? You guys are, because you'd have to get closer for investigation. Five. How feet. close are we? You're about five, five feet, feet till you're gonna go past them now. Okay, I'm gonna s just stop the cart okay, right there and then. Uh... Just short of passing between the two shinies. So we just know there's something shiny, even if we're that close to it, we don't know what it is. Yep. What is it? Can, can we... Can we but, know? okay, but is this shiny, like, just something, like, randomly shiny, like a coin shiny, or is it, like... It looks like it's some sort of device. Oh. Can I investigate... I hop other? out. <laughs> I want to I yeah. yeah. and investigate. Yeah, we, we all want to yeah. investigate. Can we all separately okay. investigate? Who's oh. who's looking at the the device to the left side and who's looking at the device to the right side? Look at the one at the left. I won't Wasn't right. there one at the front? Nope. There's one to the left, one to the right. I'll take right. I want to go left. Take left. Oh. Can okay. We I would take like. Other? I would like Kriv and um Smokey to make investigation checks, with okay. advantage. Oh, with advantage. Oh. Yeah, geez. because. So yeah. just roll a second time, Smokey. Wow, nice. that was really <laughs> useful. Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're scared. You you had Squeak's help, and then Abysmal had my help. You both notice at relatively the same time that it looks like there's an opening about an inch and a half wide. It's circular on the left side of the device, and a much thinner opening on, on about the size of a pencil on the right side and connecting in the smaller hole to the other device is a thin wire that goes along the road through the road did we already did it finish the trip wire did we already no it? nope no because we're five feet away from us it's like it's set to go off when something heavy like a cart goes over it exactly okay okay um... is there anything else in the surrounding area yeah. Perception check for the for the investigators. Uh. Mm -mm. You don't see anything. Scriff? Yeah. Does Scriff and Smokey tell this to the party or do they keep quiet about it? Hey, um You also notice that the two devices look kind of rusty. Can uh, can they pick up 
Can I pick up one of them and bring it closer to you? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was going to see if I could... No. I was going to see if I could check the mechanism. I have sleight of hand. I can try and deactivate it if it is activated. I mean, that is true, but also... If it is like a trip wire where it, like you know you need to pull on it to activate something, then pull it, pushing it together will make it so that they can't be pulled on. Well, it's not just necessarily push because that could add tension. It could also be a lack yeah. of tension as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, Remind reminder, I'm a rogue. I should have proficiency Sweet, when go, it comes to traps. Go, go go ahead. You got this. I believe in you. Okay. Um, slide your hand. Squeak. Just a normal one? Yep. 16. Okay. Is that good enough? What's your proficiency modifier? Uh, which one is it? That's a good question. <laughs> it's at the... Oh, okay. Proficiency bonus, yes, I see it. Uh, plus 2, so... 18? Yep, 18. Because you are proficient with traps. Okay. So, 18. What do you want to do to the trap? Are you I want to, to deactivate it? Yeah, I want to try and deactivate it. Okay. So, looking at the cord itself, you realize that in order to have that much pressure it, to be only triggered by a cart, that it can only be done by a... It can only be triggered by a tension, not a release. So by moving the devices closer to each other, it would inherently deactivate them. Ah! Uh, can I carry one over to the other? Sque you don't know that, Koalia. Only Squeak does. Yeah, and I can't speak it. Yep. <laughs> you have a journal, uh, as you would say. But I can... I could Journal. Uh, you can write it. He's got a language barrier, which was why I'm okay I with know, him saying I'm journal sorry. the way he does. But, okay, joke. but with my 18, would I be able to slowly or will not so carefully pick it up and move it to the other yes. one. Then yeah. That's what I do. Okay. You put the two devices together onto the left side of the road and the chap is deactivated. That's what I, was I head back to the car. <laughs> that's what I was going to do. I'm just talking to other guys. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> you got lucky, Qualia. That could have easily have backfired. <laughs> Because it I'm could have strong. been, it could have also been a release of tension. If it, and in that case, it would have triggered. Anyways, uh, I will just get back on the car right. and continue to watch the back. Wait, hold on. Can I like try to inv roll investigation to see if I can figure out what would actually happen if it failed or triggered? Sure. Sweet. Oh, nice. Jesus. Holy sh. There is a pair of magic arrows, one in each device. They would have shot out at the cart. And it is perfectly aimed that it would have hit the center of the wheel right as you traveled through. This would have just basically destroyed the cart's ability to move. Can we take the oh. arrows? Um, whoever did it would do a sleight of hand check with disadvantage. Yeah, I'd rather not. Risk right, yeah, and no. if yeah, and a failure could possibly trigger the devices and therefore the arrows. Just move. <laughs> yeah, let's just go back on it. They're pro they're really rusty, so that whoever they probably got ditched or something. Mm-hmm. All right. Or they got caught. Okay. Or both. Yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah. Maybe they got their they got caught, so they ditched the <laughs> so they ditched the trap rather as they were running away from the cops. I did this in private. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh. <laughs> uh... Oh well. Yeah. Good day, Jim. <laughs> You know, you you know what they say. Don't waste rolls, because now you just lost a high roll that you're gonna have to pay for later. I fucking better. Thank God. So that's relatively the rest of your travel. 
goes by uneventfully. Actually, the main you reason... should get to Yikaster about mid afternoon tomorrow. The main reason why I didn't just go fuck it, I'll do it, is uh, just because I'm pretty sure those arrows would like explode if I used if like I you know tripped or some shit and had it land on the tip. So that's the part that I'm worried about. Like it just accidentally something landing on a tip and it exploding. That's the only reason why I didn't. Uh, come on, I'm, the magic's not that stupid. It can tell the difference between a trip and an impact. No, you would have to just fire these arrows to get the magic out of them. Dang it. Okay. Now I want to so, grab it. <laughs> who's taking which shifts? First. Um, okay. Sorry. Qualia first, um, Smokey second. Who's watching third? I'll go third. Okay. Kriv, what you up to? There is no fourth shit. There's only three. Do you want to join us? Who do you want to team up with? If at all. <laughs> like, you can just sleep the rest of the night, or you could join one of us. I'll go with Smokey. Okay. okay. Sweet. So you'll join second shift then. All right. So while the rest of you, once camp is set up, you enjoyed the rest of your ration packs that you had started in the in the morning, and you hit the be hit bed I'm inside assuming, your tents. I'm assuming Squeak is feeding um, Wolfie. Yes. Yeah. You get you got two ration packs. Oh, okay. So it's huge. great job, mm. team. You don't have to it's... deduct anything right now, Squeak, because this is part of the rations from earlier today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Each ration is supposed to last a full day, but I'm the way we're role playing is that you eat it throughout the day. Okay. All right. Yeah. So now I need to do a perception check, I assume. Yep. And I will roll your encounter die oh, and see which fun yeah. you get to have tonight. Oh damn. What? What is gonna sneak up? Do I have to be a wolf again? Do I, am I gonna get another wolf right and just be like, uh, hi, yes, I am a wolf. Man, at least it's not gonna be our wolf, because I'm flipping with it. Okay. It is abnormally dark. With the waning moon, there is barely any sunlight coming through right now. And... While you had gotten used to these storms and the rains of the last couple of days, Qualia, the fact that there is almost no wind, no light right now, save for the light of the campfire that everyone has their tents around, it's kind of eerie. Fortunately, that's all that it is tonight. Nothing interesting happens during your shift. She's fucking crazy. Thank you. <laughs> so scared. I, I, I was literally expecting like a yep. dragon or another dire wolf just to yep. show up and just. In fact, there was about a ten-minute period where there was absolutely no one at all. So when a small gust came through, it actually made you jump a little. Okay. Great. <laughs> right. Shift two oh. perception checks. Good luck, guys. Ah. Oh shit! Oh. Uh. <laughs> Two people. Oh, that's fun. Ooh, and how much the smoking up? Nine. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh my god! What the hell is up with y'all's perceptions <laughs> today? Tonight you're gonna get a one on perception, and we're just gonna get lucky all night long. We're not gonna see jack shit, but there's nothing gonna be there either. <laughs> I'm knocking on wood. I am calling that right now, but I'm knocking on wood. Okay, give me a second. Billy just goes with, there's a huge dragon that comes over and eats you both. Thought about it. There's a copper dragon. Wait, what'd you roll? Oh, Wait, what the fuck? Before. What'd you roll? <laughs> My fellow dragon. <laughs> I 
Okay. Alrighty, and what'd you guys roll for your perceptions? Nine. Five. Okay. Um, do 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 do. Sorry, I'm setting stuff up. Mm -hmm. All good? good. Well, oh. you're setting stuff up? Oh, no. Oh. I was wrong, guys. guys <laughs> I was wrong. Griff, you, I mean, Soggy, you drink. Hey, way to go. Congrats. Wood. I knocked on wood. You don't So, ever... about 30 minutes into your shift, guys, you're starting to chat. It's relatively quiet. When you hear something behind you, and before you get a chance to say anything or even just turn around and look, Kriv, sorry, game is loading. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's your armor class, Kriv? 16. Okay. As you go to turn around, you see this large beast that you can't make out because of how fast it's going just slam into you from behind. You actually get launched about 10 feet, but fortunately it hit you right on the back of your breastplate and you actually manage to somersault in the air and land on your feet facing towards it. No damage. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Oh, All right. Man. Now, here is the classic um, guard shift issue. You are being attacked by a creature. You're, you do not know what this creature is. You do not know if you can handle it on your own. But if you can handle it on your own, you should, because you'll still get healed from the long rest. Anybody you wake up to help you will not get a long rest benefit tonight. <laughs> Wait, so, but, but Kriv does have the help of Smokey. Smokey is also right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you guys wake up Qualia, Hoff, or Squeak, they do not get long rest um, bonus at the end of the night. Flamethrowers are quiet, right? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got this. <laughs> so before we begin the combat, because it's going to be difficult for me to fix it later, are you waking anybody up? No. If you decide not to, it's going to get locked out for the fight. Oh. We got this, right? We got this, right, Smokey? Yeah, we got this! We, let's do this! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. And just to make things easier, don't worry about accidentally waking them up. I'm gonna rule that they're in their tent, so they're not gonna hear jack shit unless you actually try to wake them up. Well, actually, right. Squeak is um, in those. the cart with the wolf. I'm in the cart with the wolf. Close enough. <laughs> you're asleep. <laughs> okay, so no, you're not waking anybody up? Nope. nope. Alright, so it's just the two of you for the fight. Yep. Yep. Go ahead and roll initiative. Squeak, when you get up for your shift, you're going to find two corpses. Wow, okay, you Smokey, you're up first. <laughs> okay. So, can I tell, like, can I just tell what size creature we're against? Large. Like, no. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay. Not good <laughs> uh, uh, I wish I had strong spells. Okay. I could always use Thunder Wave. <laughs> but that'd probably wake yeah, everyone that's up. That's right? a oh, no. I, uh, it looks like some sort of malformed um, cow. It's got four um, antlers. Two smaller ones in the front and two bigger ones in the back of the head. It's got mm. so much fur, you're not sure where the fur starts and the skin would actually begin. Okay, that's fun. It's burnable. <laughs> it's burn. Ooh, can I, can, so let's just say if I use my flamethrower since there's so much fur can I get like Squeak is gonna find three mm -hmm. words. additional no. fuck okay. smoky sorry you're off. already OP as it is <laughs> yeah okay maybe when you level up enough I'll allow you to have some like gasoline built into the thing for bit burn damage okay okay so 
let's start with Smokey, and then we'll figure out what your what your contraptions are doing. So, what okay. is Smokey doing for his action and bonus action? Smokey is gonna yes. shoot at this bitch. <laughs> this you will take spell. disadvantage because you are in melee range of this beast. Oh, I'm in melee range. Okay. You were sitting next to the crib when crib got launched. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stab it with my dagger. Oh, that's a funny scenario to think of. Even though, yeah, I'm just gonna stab it. Fuck it. Get him. Get okay. his ankles. Hit. 24. Okay. Seven. Nice, nice. I mean. Okay. Wait. So... Bonus action. Well, for bonus actions, I can use my I can use Peter. Okay. I think it's Peter. So, I'm going to have Peter become a flamethrower. <laughs> that is AoE, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Hey. So, tone? Okay, so he's going to hit you and the creature. Got it. No, wait, no. I. <laughs> You're too close. You're going to get uh... hit if you fire at the creature. I'll be fine. No, wait. That's a horrible idea. Wait a minute. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm Oops. gonna have it activate its protector shit. So, uh, me and Kriv get temporary or one d8 plus two temporary hit points. Ta da! Yeah. Roll d8. Okay. Well, so much for that. <laughs> hey, hey, two oh, HP yeah. can be a massive difference. No, it's plus three. Two. Yep, three yeah. HP. Let's do this. Okay, and then for my, uh, for Joe, um, oh, I have dark vision. Yeah, so, cool. I, can, so do I. I still can't, I can't, I still can't. That's not going to help you right now. You're too, it wouldn't matter because you're too close. Okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, I'm just going to uh, make my, I'm just, oh, I can't, I can't make, have Joe attack it, right? No? Forget. You're, how is Joe going to attack it? Force strike. Huh? Force strike. It's one of his actions. I thought you Force strike? Yep. A ranged weapon attack, plus four to hit. Ranged HP. Is it an AoE? No. Okay, go ahead and roll to hit. Okay. Damn. Okay. That hits. 17. Nice. Oh, uh, one. Hold on. Damn, so so helpful. Okay, it takes three points. Three points? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's all. All right. It is now the creature's turn. And he is going to gore Smokey. Oh, what? That's his melee name. Okay, that's... Good luck, Smokey. What's your AC? 18. You dodge out of the way at the last second as it uses his antlers to try and pound you straight in the chest. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, wait. I just had a memorization. And it is it. going to try and strike you one more time. Okay. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't sound good. He rolled even worse than the first time. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, d d does a nine hit, Smokey? No, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you know its attack pattern, as you dodge to, um, to your left the first time, the second time, as it goes for a, cl a, c a clean center hit, you actually jump up and out of the way and jump over the creature so you're behind it now. <laughs> nice. Which will actually prove useful later, because now that means if Kriv charges at it, you guys have flanking advantage. Kriv, like, you should do that. That'd be pretty funny. And Kriv, it's your turn. We're gonna charge at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so which weapon are you gonna use? Your great battle axe? Yes. Are you going to make this a reckless attack? Reckless? Wait a minute, let me look at it. Nah. Do you want to rage? Yeah. 
You are raging. You feel the fire burn through your chest. This really? creature hit you and it hit it hard and it deserved to die for that. It, it really does. Okay, what'd you roll to hit? So mean. 18. 18? Hit. Oh, damn. Christ. Okay. And what are you doing with your bonus action? My bonus action was a rage. I think rage doesn't need to act, right? Does it? Let me look at your it's chart real quick. Oh, okay, cool. It's still a good idea. <laughs> okay. Smokey, it's your turn. Okay, how do I use utilize flank? <laughs> oh, it just automatically gives you advantage on the roll on your attack roll. Oh, bad. I'm gonna stab at this bitch again. Damn. Okay, 19. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Five. Noted. And then Bonus gonna, action? Uh, if I use the Force Ballista, would that wake anyone up? For the fun, for the fun of the game, you don't have to worry about waking people up. But I'm gonna make Peter... Shoot a fucking ballista kit, ballista thing, force ballista at it. Yep. Okay. Uh six. Oh well. Yeah, that misses. No. Okay, and then for my actually, roll another d twenty. You have a, you have flanking advantage. Oh. Just a one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got the exact same thing, buddy. <laughs> Uh, oh well, I'll I'll just have um, I'll just have Joe attack it. Okay. But I thought you used your bonus action already for the attack. Oh no, that that was for Peter. Joe Joe's a shares my initiative. Okay. So, do I also get? Or... I thought we ruled that you only one of your creatures could attack per turn. You just let me. <laughs> That's what I was saying the first time though. I was about to say Ooh, that, but then I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, Hold on, you just, you let me use You know what, I screwed up, so I'll allow both creatures to p attack for this combat. Yes, okay. Take advantage of your DM. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> I say that, but the dice agree with me that not hold both on, creatures hold should on. not I be get able to attack. Right? I get advantage, right? I get advantage. Go for it. And okay, roll five so... again. Get a one. Get a one. Get a one. <laughs> that was right on a one. That was right on a one. Go ahead oh, and roll. Jesus Christ, that was not funny. It almost got the <laughs> yes, <one>. it was. <laughs> four, four damage. This creature is not looking too healthy. Nice. Okay. And it's going to take its turn. And it is going to try and gore Kriv. I know. What's your AC? 16. That just hits. Oh. And he oh smacks you with 15 points of damage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm raging still? I gotta... Yes, so actually, that's, that's correct. You get resistance. So instead, it's actually... 15 divided by 2. Uh, so, 7 points of damage. 7? 7. seven. Better than 15. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seven, not four. You're supposed to be at 20 points of health. Oh, right. You had 10 HP. Uh, my, my thing doesn't show the temp HP. Oh. Hmm. You get to know about the system. Okay, and he is going to make a second his second attack also against Kriv. Well, he's that's 14 to hit, so that misses. Kriv, it's your turn. Um, can I use Dragon Fear? Dragon Fear? It's a thing I got from a trait. <laughs> You lot keep evolving on me. 
And you're going to spend a use of your breath or effort and trait to roar, forcing each creature... Okay. I've been kind of generous about the noise thing, but it just straight up <laughs> says that's a roar. You're going to wake your party up. Oh, fine. Oh. Do it. Very Do quietly. It. Very <laughs> quietly, no, roar. You lose your, your long rest, guys. Uh, I don't need Which it. Which means you would have to make a roll to avoid exhaustion point. So it's 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 not worth it, guys. Oh, yeah, just don't. <laughs> All right, um, I'll just um. Trust me, freaking Qualia and her curse is not going to appreciate having double disadvantage on all her saving throws. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing? Great ox, yeah. Good ox, smack. <laughs> Yes. Uh, 16, that hits. Nice. Nice. Damn. He is on his last leg. Somehow he is still standing, but it looks like a single breath on him would probably keel him over. I want to breathe on him. <laughs> <laughs> and doing anything else, Kriv? I say that because he's on one HP. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? Uh, you used your actions. So, what about your bonus actions? You have two two weapon fighting. Yeah, but I used a two handed weapon for my first. Do you have any throw throwable weapons? Oh yeah. You can throw a weapon. All right. I got a hand axe. It's throwable. Throw the hand axe. <laughs> please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Uh, uh, twelve. That hits. Oh, nice. Nice. How badly are you overkilling it? Four HP. Ye. Oh, Having you slashed with cool. your great axe, causing a great tear along this creature's right side, goozing uh, blood onto its matted fur. You take your hand axe, backing up for a second, right before it can try to strike with its um, horns. You just throw it overhead, and it cleanly soars between the horns and hits it square in the head, and the creature just drops. Bullseye. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck. Smokey, you're seeing this, and you just hear a thunk, and the creature just drops, and you can see the end of the hilt of Kriv's um, axe on its head over the top of the creature. Can they have um, the Hoth cook it? I think I know what this is. What do you uh, think it is? I think it's some, like, I don't know how to word it, but I'm pretty sure I, I have a feeling it's the slave that we got or you think it's the slave yeah i don't know though no he's asleep 10 feet over there because they can transform so i don't know i was just thinking yeah he's you know you, you can see him he's been asleep this oh, entire okay, time man. okay thank god holy <laughs> that fight, dude. well you never know mine, you never I mean, know. He, he, he may not trust you but i don't think he has a reason to outright attack you at the moment yeah all right yep okay Wait, good job, Kriv. <laughs> and you guys got out of that with surprisingly less damage than I thought you would take. I didn't take a single point. Hey, Kriv, yeah. get over here. I gotta heal you. <laughs> and I wanna use your, your move. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. Gonna, no. Yeah, you guys will get long rest at the end of your ship, remember? Uh, I still wanna, I wanna waste the... it, though. Okay. Oh my I'm god, not, Spokey. I'm not, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm joking. Okay. Alright. Okay. Is there anything we can do with the the whatever it was? Yeah. Yeah. When Hoff wakes up in the morning, you can have him uh try to That's what I butcher asked it. For him to do. All right. Yep. Can I get my hand axe back? Yep. Is it blue blood? Easy enough. You just pull it out of his head. A little bit of blank brain splatter on the alien? tip. Is it blue blood? No, it's red. 
Okay. Do you guys like want to try to identify it? Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, that. I want to try to identify. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll investigation, you two. Woo. Oh, it was almost nice. Nice. Kriv, you remember uh, this from your training. This, now that you've had a chance to actually look at it, the four horns and the matted fur give it away. This is an Oryx. Oh. An Oryx. Are they your type up? Yep. Copy and paste. Uh, oh. Not how I would think yeah, it would be spelled. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, neither would I. Enter. Oh! Oh, oh. oh it's just the bull. The bull. We kill the bull. Oh. It's not just a bull. It's an Some adorable bull. bull. And y'all fucking murdered it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it attacked them. It's not really murder if he's the one who started it. Yeah, exactly. He could have ran away when he had. Wait, the... isn't it? Don't... I could have. You could have just woken me up and I could have done animal handling on it. <laughs> Oh, you, you would need <laughs> to do the exhaustion thing, though. Yeah, oh yeah, it's true. Not worth it. Wait, aren't uh, don't aren't aren't they like docile? Like they only engage if you engage. Well, if you notice from the description, it's a, the generally Oryx don't have matted fur. Oh. Oh, so weird? this is not an or ordinary Oryx. No, it's a werewolf. What? Oh my god. What? That's my that's my theory. Let's wait my until theory is that it on. used to be. Is it a uh, is it a full moon? Hold on, my my theory is that it used to be a uh, like live on a farm before something happened to make it have to run away, and it's been failing to survive. It wanted to eat Crave. No. Well, now you can eat it, so you're even. Oh, how the tables have it's turned. just they're like ooh oh, lobster. Oh, how the turntables. <laughs> it, it looked at Kevin and was like, ooh, lobster. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to crack the shell open. Okay. So, Smokey and Kriv, are you guys doing any role play during the rest of your shift? Yes, because I, mm -hmm. I want to. Yes. I got some. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. Go for it. Okay. So. Well, anyway, now that that's over, <laughs> that was some bullshit, I guess you could say. No? Roll a no. d4. Damn. <laughs> two. I got a two. You find two extra copper in your pocket. <gasps> <laughs> uh, okay, finally, I have two extra copper rich now. Let's go, anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, that makes you extremely more richer than Koalia. They had quite some beef with us, huh? <laughs> I guess. I guess <laughs> God damn it! I got... <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. Um. Hey. That was so... utterly fun, huh? Oh yeah. my God. Bulls don't have <laughs> udders. <laughs> that was not. Okay. <laughs> We're anyway. making him rage at this point. <laughs> yeah. And he's not even a barbarian. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Should I get fucked? <laughs> he gave me the giggles. Okay. So. Oh my. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on, I need a second. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, anyway, now that that shit is over. <laughs> can I, like, can I talk to you about something? Hmm. So, I don't, I don't know, like, I'm kind of mixed on this. This whole adventuring shit is fun and all, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we get to kill badass villains or something. Barely escape a fucking academy, or w w I mean, a bowl. But I don't 
no, if I want to do this anymore. Because I almost died last time when we were getting Korya. I mean, that's the risks that comes with adventuring. Yeah, but who would take care of Lionel? What would happen to my wife, you know, if I bit the dust? I kind of don't want to find out, you know? Like, I don't know. It bothers me. And just make sure you try your hardest to be able to see them again. <laughs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> we just, like, if or when we get back to the capital city, um, just expect something to happen. You know, I'm I'm not gonna say what, but you could probably figure out what that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, good job, and I <laughs> go in for a high five. Good job on <laughs> killing that bitch. Yeah. yeah. Smack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I just can I just give him a whole like really big pat on the back. <laughs> Make an unarmed strike. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's your AC? 18. <laughs> Can we say it hits? It stings, a... but okay. it doesn't hurt you. Owie. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, our guard chest almost up, I'm pretty sure, so I'm just gonna um, go to sleep. You know? Good night. Good night. And I walk back to my tent. Squeak, it's your turn. Okay. That will be on an 18. Okay, good to know. Give me a second. Hide, 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 hide. It's the downside about certain things. I can only really do them in the moment. <laughs> okay. So, it's a quiet, calm night. A little bit more lights coming overhead, thanks to the dawn just starting to break a little bit, but mainly still through moonlight. Winds picked up a little bit, so it's not calm, but it's not gusty either. It's just a normal amount of wind. When, out of the corner of your eye, behind the cart, where, so, the back of the way you guys were coming, you uh-huh. notice some movement. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh. And, a l- and then an- another bit of movement. And a third. Can I try to get closer to it with a stealth check? Sure. Oh, okay. If you do need any help, ask a... That is a 27. (laughs) If you do need any help, just remember Hoff is also there. (laughs) Alright. So you get relatively close and somehow they haven't noticed you with the black of your fur. just Sorry, not fur. Feathers actually making it so that you're actually quite sneaky during this lack of light. You get close and you notice there are three bandits stalking the cart a little bit, wondering if they should attack or not. They haven't spotted you yet. Um, okay. There's three, you said. Yup. Real quick. 
So I could try to do sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Could I try and hit two of them at the same time since I have multi attack? You can, but you're only going to get the sneak attack damage on the first one. Ah, damn it. Is the wolf awake? What did you roll for stealth? Let me check. I rolled so, 27. Actually, you rolled such high stealth. I'll allow you to roll a second stealth after the first attack, and it's going to be a, a high DC, but if you pass that DC, they won't know where it, the first attack had come from, so you'll get a second um, sneak attack. Okay. Is the wolf awake with me or not? Mm -mm. He sleeps through the night. Okay, so I can try and get the help of the wolf. Okay. Mm -mm. And Huff's also sleeping. Yep. Okay. So you'll yeah, be I able think... to wake him up for this encounter without having to worry about um, uh, making him exhausted. Oh. Since he did not take How any How far of away is he from me? Like, would, I wouldn't break my stealth check. He's about 20 feet away from you behind you in the camp. Fuck. That would probably break my stealth check, wouldn't it? You can still wake him up and get back to your spot in time, but it's going to make it so you lose the second stealth strike. Okay. So, since... Talking is not an action or bonus action. I might just fucking attack and then screech. Not <laughs> enough for at least half to do it. So if I think that's that, what I'm gonna do. Are gonna hear it. But do they lose their exhaustion? They do. No, get what, do they get? They do get. So half is the only one that doesn't get it. Yep. You have to go wake oh. him up individually. Oh gosh. What if I send my fox to wake He's up also Huff? Asleep. Fuck! You're the only <laughs> one awake. Wouldn't he have the fox feet right next to him? His I always fox give my fox asleep. sleep. Poor thing's gotta sleep sometime. Yeah. Uh, yeah then I... Ah, oh, damn. Do I really want to lose that one? I guess I'll, I guess I'll just lose it, yeah. I, it's better to... F have someone else instead of fighting three on the same time by myself. Okay. Yeah, I want to tap on half shoulder and then point uh, the direction of the bandits and go so back there. You went back um, going into Hoff's tent and you shake on his shoulder and he's just like, huh? What? Sweet? Is it morning already? He looks outside, sees it's still dark and he's just like, there's bad things happening, isn't there? I point where the bandits are, and I just walk out. He sighs, grabs his grabs his shield, grabs his sword, and gets up. Okay. Um, I want to like Italy. Just, looks like he's gonna exit the tent without even trying to hide. <laughs> so I have to run. Okay. <laughs> you could just signal him to be like, "Hey, stay here for a second. True. Do it. True. Um, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say second, but pointing one of my fingers up, and then just run okay. and try to. You attack. see, he nods, and then he takes a kneel right at the tent flap. He's still looking out, but he's in, and he's in stealth. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. You know so I'm gonna, have wanna... him, I'm gonna roll see if he stays in stealth. Okay. Just for the fun of it, it's gonna be low DC though. Oh. oh, he's fine. He can oh. walk with you. <laughs> Perfect, then. <laughs> Even better. Nope. Okay. So the two of you get to your combat position. Wait a second. If he's also stealthy, I can. I still ha I haven't lost my second one, do I? You. I'm gonna say the time it took for you to do that. You lost your second one. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Well, no, that's fine. You have a second one. He's taking care of the second one. Yeah, he's the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, 
It just transferred to someone else rather than it being you. I think I'm gonna run in because have the fucking uh Does piercer. Beat. Them and slice the throat. You guys can do that at the same time. Yeah, yeah I want to point. Okay. I can go out with the sword. Just to make things easier for me, I'd like you to roll initiative first, though you are getting an ambush round. Okay. So, would you give me the how much is that? Uh, that is a seventeen. Oh my god, half. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So go ahead and make your attack tweak. Okay. Let's see. Are you going for the left, the middle, or the right bandit? Are you kidding me? Uh, I was going to go for the closest to me. Okay, that's the left. Yeah, but that doesn't. Yeah, that misses. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Roll stealth check, and then get, you can roll uh, your second attack. Oh, okay. Bro, that's lower, 14. Yeah, you lost your stealth. But you're, yeah, you, that's all you good. You still do your second attack for the ambush round. That is 17. That hits. Okay. That's 8. Okay, where are you hitting him with your sword? Uh, neck. Neck? Yeah. So you are you actually managed to sneak behind, uh, slightly behind him into the bandit's right, and you sneak forward. He actually heard you at the last second and dodged your first attack, but you turn your sword back around and just slice him on the back of the neck, and it l you swear you can see a little bit of, of his um, neck bone through the gash. Nice. Hoff is going to. Do, 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 do. He he's going to pull out his whip and he is going to slap the one on the right. So that's made C. That's a 16 to hit. That hits. That's a 5 points of damage. Is he building two weapons? Uh. Whip is um is a is whip one or two handed? Right, whips are one handed normally. Yeah, it's one handed. Okay. Um, bonus action. He's gonna use his dagger. That's a hit. Nice. Damn it. Two damage. Good enough. Bandit C is not looking good. There's a nasty gash along his back where the whip hit him, and now he's got a dagger in his um, left thigh as he turned around and hit him there. He okay. actually has had less damage done to him than Tweak has done to the other one. Yep. Alright, and so... And combat proper begins. The bandits go first. They rolled higher oh. than the players. Damn. Okay. Bandit A is going to slash at Squeak with his scimitar. Oh, shit. Is Hoff a regular human? Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Do you expect him to be? What's your AC? Uh, my AC is 15. Miss. Ooh! I haven't Bandit, heard a miss from me in a long time. Bandit B is going to also attack Squeak with a scimitar. Oh, shit. That's 7 to hit. Miss. And Bandit C is going to charge at um, Hoff with his scimitar. That's a 12 to hit. Hoff's got 19. These bandits just... Nope. Squeak, it's your turn. Okay, perfect. Uh, gonna try and finish off the neck of that one that I already okay. hit. That would be a 25. That hits. Roll damage. Sadly enough, that's not a crit. Uh, let's see. Roll damage. Seven. Okay. Using finesse, you actually take your 
um, sword, and right as he um, tries to hit you with his scimitar, you duck underneath, pop back up, using the momentum of of the action. You actually slice upwards, back through the very gash that you had gone the first time, and this time it's clean, and it just straight decapitates him. <laughs> yeah, Band A is dead. <laughs> I look immediately towards the one that Half was fighting. Okay. And I aim for the leg that Half damaged already. Alright. Fuck. 13. Okay. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'm getting a phone call. Sorry. Oh, good. You're doing really well. Yeah. Everyone except for me has had to do fighting. Lamau. I know. I'm playing D and D, babe. Next bet, if I manage to get another one, I want a vulture. A vulture? Sorry about yes. that. Hi. See, I would take you up on that, but like, I don't have. Okay, any so, money. uh, game log. <laughs> you rolled a thirteen to hit on Bandit C. I guess so that hits. Miss. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, it does. Nice. Do we have an AC of twelve? Nine. Okay. Charging at Bandit C, just going just barely past Bandit B, you actually use the momentum of the run to slash at the spot where the dagger is, and actually tinking off the dagger a little bit, you just cleanly, cleanly slice his leg, left leg clean off almost at the hip joint. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, I think we should promote Squeak with his title. He is now Squeak the Decapitator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Hoff is going to move. He is going to... Um... Do, 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 do. I do not know him that well. He is going to whip at the remaining last remaining bandit. Um, no. yeah, that that definitely um, hurts. Four points. Out of all the weapons in this game, I think whip is the most disappointing one. I think it's cool. And then he actually misses people? with his second throwing dagger. Oh, God. Okay, and so it's that, it's that band, last bandit's final turn. He is going to take the disengage action, and he is going to run 30 feet into the forest. Okay. Does that mean that it's now my turn? Or... Yes, it's your turn. Okay, I want to use my shirt bow then, because if I'm correct, it has a range of 80. Yeah. Okay. I want to aim at the head, of course. Uh, let's see. That is not good. That's an 11. That's a fail. Just misses. Well, uh, I don't have a second shirt bow, so I think that's it. I knew okay. Wait. Of 12. Are you moving at all? Wait a second, wait a second. Can't you load another arrow in? Left my. What? I was like, wait, I'm pretty sure I had another bow. Yeah, I had a crossbow, but it's back at the card. <laughs> Are you moving at all? Uh. Okay, you said thirty, right? I have forty. Do I, can I catch up? Oh yeah. So that means I can try and run with the uh, with the short sword and hit. Yep. Or does it have to be a bow again? 
you can do short sword with your second me melee. Okay, then yeah, I want to run up to it and hit with the short sword. I guess on the leg to train him. What I said. Okay. Wait, so are you that is a nap twenty. Damage? Do you want that to be non-lethal? Nope. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll damage. Wait a second. Crit wait damage. a second. Uh, when you score a critical hit that deals piercing damage to a creature, you can roll one additional damage die when determining the extra piercing damage it that target takes. It should automatically take. have it there. It does it automatically? It should. It should. Uh, we'll find out. Go ahead and roll crit damage, damage. See if it adds the feat to, to it. Uh, I only saw two dies. Go ahead and roll a custom d6. Where's the d6? I don't know. Here it is. So that's 12? Yep. That's 11 right. points of damage, because you would roll a 5 and a 1. So the 2 replaces the 1. Oh, okay. If I'm understanding that correctly. Wait, let me read it again. No, I'm pretty sure when you score a critical it. hit, that deals... No, yeah, no, you added... You can roll one additional damage die when determining yeah. the extra piercing damage you target together. Hit. Okay, so it's 12? Yeah. I mean, yeah. ultimately, it doesn't matter. He's dead either way. Oh. <laughs> well, of course. But, like... He only had 7 HP. Where were you aiming with your sword? I believe he said the leg. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You actually running with it as you pass by him. You, you, you use the momentum of the run. You really like your momentum today. And you just use it to cl cleave his leg clean off right up uh, right above the knee <laughs> I walk back to the card yep they didn't get a single point of damage off on you too <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I guess we move on with the rest of the night. Yeah, that's it. That's it for okay. the night. Uh, I was gonna say I wanted to skin the. Hold on, hold on. Before you do that. Oh, you now he up. shows up. Don't you want to loot the corpses? Oh yeah, true. Can I loot Welcome the, corp back, the corpses? Welcome back, You just finished combat. Yeah. You were I'm really good during that combat. While. Thank you. Thank you for your help. I think he listened. He started and jo he joined the audience when he pulled out his whip in the combat the first time. Oh. Uh, can I loot the corpses, by the way? Yep. Uh, do you have to roll anything or? Um, roll investigation. <sighs> Woo! It's not going to be good. Oh, 14. Okay, give me a second. Ah. Uh. I should probably just click. Thank you. Uh, Drias, try disconnecting your headphones and connecting them again. He's able to at least hear us, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Just unplug and replug. Yeah, that happens to me. I just. Smokey forward slash forward slash dank said on and off. Thank you. You know, you could just speak. I'm clicking in on the D&D chat, so that way you can... Smokey you can forward touch. slash forward slash dank said emoji troll. I'm using the... I'm in the D&D chat, so it can be a way of him speaking. Dries 1122 said... I'm guessing it better work, Dries. Dries 1122 Maybe reconnect in the, call, in the call? Dries 1122 said crying face. Dries 1122 oh, oh, yeah, said, let me try. Yeah, you could be set to the run.
Yeah, you could reset the wrong mic. Is that the, too? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Uh, is it muted on the headset? Just mm okay. So, what'd you roll for your investigation? Uh, fourteen. Oh, you guys bad. I'm burp. Fourteen. Okay. Yes. Combined from the three hunt from the um three bandits. Three one thousand one hundred and twenty-two said they are Don't silver think pieces. they have that function. And sixty-seven gold pieces. Smoky okay. forward slash forward slash dank said, do they have a built-in mic? That's all right. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I'm going to give that to... Loot of note. Yeah, that's okay. Can I take the weapons? I mean, if you want three used scimitars... I mean, are they rusty? They're all right. They're just not special. Yeah, but something is something. I'll just take them and throw them into the cart. <laughs> okay, go ahead and add three scimitars to the cart. If anyone wants to use them, or if we can sell them later on, even if it's for cheap, uh, something is something. <laughs> also, I want to say that I put the pouch with all of the money in Cora's pocket. Smoky forward slash forward slash dank said okay. DMSRQ. Squeak, Phantom, said 321 silver. 67 shit, gold. That's a lot of gold, oh my god. Kara one shot specialist yours. The fuck? The hell you mean that's a lot of gold? It's just 67. Shut up, I'm poor too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got 81 gold, that's not a lot. Okay. Oh my god. Cora? Hi. Did you add the money? I am back. Oh, welcome back. Thank you. I gave you all the money that I found. Thank you. Oh my god, I finally have money again. <laughs> yep, you got a decent chunk of money. Did you just put it straight into your inventory? Huh? No, I just uh tagged her in the okay. D chat so she got it. I just added it right now. Pog. Yep. Thank you have you. money again. I wanna Now I just wanna like skin the yeah, I keep forgetting how to say the name. The Aurox? Mm hmm Okay. And give the me to half of course. All right, we'll make up a sur um, survival check. Um, more survival, here it is. Oh, oh that's a nat 20. What's for? 24. Holy crap. Okay. Um, roll... 4d12. Uh... One, two, you three, four. Out. That's a twenty-four. Dang it. Mm okay. Um, Hoff, they've got twenty-four units of meat for you to cook. So if you would be so kind as to roll a survival check to see how well you cook it. It took him a l some e extra to Trace get going, 1, but he ends up producing sedans. about 15 usable ration. What about the pelt? How much did we get from that? Um, You're going to have to sell it. We can try and turn it into a coat? You would have to take it to someone to make it into a coat. Smoke, are you good with coats? Huh? <laughs> I'm asleep. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm just joking. <laughs> and no, I 
if I I can't I can't I'm not I don't have any like no I have <laughs> I mean I have Tinkerous tools <laughs> but no I, there's I don't no have oh is it a custom item yeah it should be a custom item then. Uh, that would be it then. Okay. So, did you go ahead and deduct nine ration packs for the whole group? Okay. What is Pops? Wait, why are we having Hoff cook? Because he specializes in cooking. Mm. I would cook myself since I also have the cook utensils, but uh, I, I just decapitated a man and took two legs away. I think you specialize in the destroying, not creating bits. <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, who's watching front and who's watching back? Squeak and uh, Qualia are unable to do it because they watched yesterday. I'll do back. I was sitting right next to me while I... to the cart. Who's watching front? Driz1122 okay. said I will do front. Alright, so go ahead and roll you two. Perception check? Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Spaced out? Not 20, and yeah, I spaced out. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> you guys are, are are rolling hot tonight. Hoth isn't, but, you know. A good well, inspiration after two and a half 20s. To be fair, it's because it wasn't actually hot, it was said rolling LOL. for him. Well, no. Uh, he, he was doing fine when you were rolling for him, but as soon as he started rolling for himself, he just... I'm okay, sorry. it's not really his fault that he has a minus one in perception. I know. <laughs> Poor thing. 11 is good enough anyways. Okay. It's better than the 6, 9, and, and what was the other number that y'all pulled last night? And encounter die... Okay. So you guys get there a little bit past noon, but you have successfully made it to the city of Yikander. Coming nice. around right bend, you are uh, almost immediately greeted once you exit the tree line with this large wall. Trees 1122 right, said realize that this wall actually runs into the mountainside. There is no way around this wall. And there is only one exit. exit. The road. Wait, so the one exit it has is the same entrance? Yep. Oh. There's only one way in and out of this city. Well, damn. And as you get closer, you see that there Trace are six 122 heavily armed said guards FTRP. on the outside of the gate, and there are ten heavily armed guards on the inside of the gate, and the gate is closed. Now that I thought about it, I'm not even surprised, because pretty sure this is where the prison is, right? This is a prison city. Yeah, yeah, I'm not surprised anymore, forget it. <laughs> Dinky is here, and so is um the murder. The yep. murderer. We need to find that murder site. Yep. Where where is the murder site? Where do we go? We first have to talk with the guards, I think. Yep. Uh. How do you who know? wants? I can. Dries one thousand one hundred and twenty. Okay. Oh wait. Uh, on? Half doesn't know. Um, we are currently in, we're going to Winecaster because we are uh, going to solve a murder case. So, murder mystery night. 
Dries 1122 said ah. Dries 1122 said okay. I'd go up to a guard be like, excuse me, do you know where the murder is seen it? We're here to investigate. Um, give me a second. Better sure we took the paper with us as well. About the commission. Yeah, we can show them the paper. Dries 1122 said oh, and I can't talk DX. It's yeah. okay. So, you are immediately gre uh, greeted as you move towards the gate by this young looking um, dragonborn. Smooth head, black eyes, pointy blue scales. Pretty tall. Yeah. Okay. Are they responding to what I just said? Can you repeat it, please? I was just saying, Hi, uh, do you know where the murder site is? We are here to investigate, and I want to show them the paper. The paper that we got for doing this investigation. He looks you up and looks you down and just laughs. <laughs> uh. Oh, Grumbar be praised. They sent you to help with this? They sent us, sir. No, oh, turn around. You're not you're not gonna be able to help with this. Question? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Damn. Right. That's cool Good question. I know that you will have this prejudice against us, but I don't give a shit. We're here to do a job. Quick question. Uh, -huh. uh, the king that we met was the king of the whole place, right? Right. Can I just imitate the king's voice, even if it's out of nowhere? But at most least to know that we're important. Of the kingdom will not recognize his voice. Oh, that's so your bad. To the king is not going to be helpful. In but do they way. recognize the symbol of the king? Just because you have the symbol doesn't mean that you're uh, part of, a part of his party. You would have to have. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you would have to mm -hmm. have like a writ or something more proper than just a symbol. Oh, Dries 1122 said, and why are not able oh, to help? Uh, with this case? Uh, Huff is talking. And why aren't it? This, the guard is, that's currently staying in your way with the gate closed thinks you're not able to help the case. I think he was asking the guard. Oh, he's talking to the guard. I believe Three, so. 1,122 yeah. said no. Oh, what? Oh, Wait, he's asking so... me. Yeah, it was the guard. Okay, okay. Dries 1,122 Okay, okay yeah, he guard. was asking the guard. Yeah. Okay, I was right. <laughs> Dries 1,122 <laughs> said LOL. Good old communication barriers. We've literally done work for the king. Dries 1,122 said yes. He's going to roll an insight check on you. Succeed. Do it hard. Oh, it was almost a natural 20. Come on. What did you get? He rolled a in 6. Bro! Oh, so it's nice. The guard just goes, oh, oh wait, yeah, wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> can, I, can I roll persuasion to have him try it again? I'll have Why did you... persuasion in a bit, but you're not able to help with his insight. Why did you um, want to help his insight? Okay. No, because the insight would have let them know that we did do this. Yeah. And so he responds to Hoff saying, I don't believe that you're capable. I'm sure many people once saw that you weren't capable of doing this shit, and yet here you are. Anyone can do anything, even if we don't look like it. If our own guard can't do anything about it, why do you Dries think one hundred and twenty-two said, and what can we do to prove to ourselves? No, no, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna... What can you do to prove yourself? 
And that's when I put the monocle on and I go, Oh, excuse me, mother. <laughs> Yo, gang. What did Half say? Oh, okay. Show him How the belt. about a duel? I can do oh, that. Hold on. Oh, I can, I can do, do that. that. Wait a I minute. Can, no, no, he's just, talking to, oh, he's talking to Hoff right now. Damn it. But I, I can punch good. <laughs> I will knock their lights out. I can decapitate him in one roll. that? I don't think you want to knock the lights out of a jar. Well, no, they're asking for a battle. Mm -hmm. And Hoff just makes him trip immediately with the whip. If you, <laughs> young Trace sir, 1122 said, and what type of duel are you talking guards, about? I think you'll be able to handle the case. Do you accept? But why the only him? Dries one thousand one hundred and twenty-two yes, said by myself. I want to see how you fare against uneven odds. Okay, but why not one of us either? Why him in particular? Because he's the one who asked. Oh, I saw your care your thing let it for a second. Oh, what if your one Discord moment, settings aren't correct? Your yes? Check your check your Discord settings to see if you're using the right input mic. We suggested uh, that. Hold on, you have noise suppression on? That could also be it. Yeah, noise suppression can mess up the microphone as well. Automatic gain control, noise reduction. Can I like, can I like get down, tap the guard, and be like, can I join? Give me Drea as a second. Yeah. I want to do it. Am I the smallest one in the party? I think. No, it's me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Was Dries sure 1122 said, I have tried disabling suppression. Oh, you disabled suppression already. Then maybe it's your mic settings on Discord. Do you have your mic like turned all the way down to zero? Smokey forward slash forward slash dank said these off. No, your uh... input volume. What is your input volume? Yeah, I was gonna put also put Smokey that. forward slash forward slash dank said. Fuck. Oh. Wait, do a mic oh, test. Oh wait, no, that, that's Dank's. That's Dank's. Oh wait, that's no, Danky. Oh. That's mine. Sending it. Bitch, you fucking tricked us. Cry about it. You tricked all of us. Ha <laughs> ha You fools! And you take three points of damage. No, hold on, hold on. I mean, you guys are all, um, brilliant people. Uh, it's my <laughs> fault for tricking all of you. <laughs> Damn, I really. I'm terribly do sorry. Pipe though. Dries 1122 said have tried. Oh, that you try doing a mic test? It's maxed. Wait, is it just. Dries 1122 said yes. Uh, anyways, yeah. uh, I do Hoff, want to say to the. Are you accepting the duel? I want to say to the guard, though. Dries 1122 said it doesn't register. Might be the, uh, the headphones then. Yeah, if the earbuds have a mic, that can also fuck with this shit. Uh. Dries 1122 yeah, said, is it just two guards? I mean, you could ask one of the smaller two over here. We can fuck your guards up real good. We can do another Kenku um, and... Right, okay. accept. Holy shit, right there and then? Damn. Do we throw the other guards? 1122 said what are the conditions to You have to, to win? defeat both guards. Um... I want to say to the guard, be like, hey, be sure to tell the other guards around that this is something that you arranged. They Wait a minute. They them around that they know. They heard everything. Good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think you need to be more specific when you say defeat. You're talking to us. Yeah, you have to just put them down to zero HP. Because could... all of this is considered non-lethal. So we have to kill them. Oh, okay. so basically it's automatically considered non-lethal. Non yep. 
Oh, uh, okay. So oh, we fight then... as hard as we can until they get down to being unconscious. You know, you... I'm just gonna say, I also have Spare the Dying, so I could just, you, you could kill him, and I could bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> and you have Wayne Shack. Just saying. You're ready. You're ready. <laughs> Or Lionel Saint. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> okay, 21. And then they roll. Off your first. Is that the one if I want to... We'll see if you decide to attack. So if you're deciding to do basic moves and stuff, you can just roll it and we'll see. Wait, what is their AC? Who's AC? The enemy. Drees 1,122 said I cast Thunderous Smite. Uh, thunderous I'm sure it's probably pretty high since so you said that they have, like, really good armor. I am really hoping or that Dries just, like, gets them down in two hits. Do I start it with a good move? The first time you hit with a melee weapon attack during the spell's duration, your weapon rings with a thunder that is audible within 300 feet of you. The attack deals an extra 2d6 thunder damage to the target. Additionally, if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a, a strength saving throw or be pushed 10 feet away from you and not prone. Okay. I'm imagining and him just that like has an boring. action casting time of one bonus action, which means you can still attack. Yeah, he did a whip to hit. Oh, uh, he did a whip to hit already? Yeah. Yeah. Six that misses. Dries 1122 said I did. Got okay, a total wait. of six. Are you going to roll the damage for the Thunder Smite? Does it have to hit? Hold on, let me double check. I'm pretty sure it's just Dries 1122 oh. said yes. Well, then roll the hit. Yeah, you have to wait. hit, but he missed. Yeah. Dries so 1122 said so Oh, so the whip does the thunder. It's my. Okay, okay. I thought it yep. was completely separated from the. Uh... Nope. Yeah. It's a combo damage. I don't like that. Okay. But how long does the spell last? It lasts. Yeah, for... how long? Up to one Dries minute. Dries 1122 said one to, minute. He has to survive the next two. The Their. There goes. He can lose it. Okay, That's guard hard. A. The the dragonborn is going to go and he slashes with his scimitar. That that overwhelmingly misses. And his second attack. 15 to hit. Trees 1,122 said LOL. Yeah, the, yeah he, the first roll was a 6 total. That 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 doesn't even clink on the armor. I was just standing there watching the guards miss everything. <laughs> yeah. And so the second guard actually goes around Hoff and is going to enjoy a flinking attack. Dries 1,122 said I dance around his strikes. That is 22 to hit. Please roll a concentration oh, check. Fuck. As you take 5 Wait, points of damage. There's a concentration okay. check? He still has the thunder thing going, but... No, 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 but what did you roll for concentration? Because when you take damage, oh. you have to make sure you're still concentrating. No, yeah, yeah. Okay, but he passed, so he keeps the spell going. 1,122 said I pass. And you took four points of damage, so you need to update your health. Oh, sorry, five points. That's cheating. He changed it. I missed red. I know. He rolled a four, but he also gets a plus one to damage. Okay, Hoth, it's your turn. <laughs> Holy! That was loud. Bless. Sorry. <laughs> I've, got, I've, I've got coughs. Oh, oh good. 
In 11 days. 11. Okay, like there. I think I got all the cops. <laughs> oh no, I spread it through the internet. Why can't it be oh me God. out there? Motherfucker. Okay, 11 to hit. That misses. Trace 1122 said also. Yes, you can. Can I move? Oh, are you going to have the whip? Are you able to use a bonus action for doing the whip? Thrust? Yeah, he can also he gets a second attack using yeah. two weapon fighting. Do, do, do you want to do that? My dude? He wants to move first. Trace 1122 said, can I move to a spot that um, prevents flanking? You can... If you move away from guard B towards the wall, you can get to a spot where they can't flank you. But doing so, you'd have to leave the attack range of both guards so they're going to get attack of opportunities. Don't do it. Do it. Back up a little bit and, like, take a few steps back, but still attack with your whip is what I would do. Trace 1122 said, okay, so you're going to stay move. in place and you're not going to do a second attack. He never said that. He said, I pass. No, 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 no. That was, that was ages ago. Trace 1122 said, no. Yeah, he did 17 to hit. Do you to want hit. a second attack, or are you passing on the second attack? He just no, he did 17 to hit. hit. Oh, I was in Discord. Okay. So yeah, that hits. Hit. So, roll for damage, and also the thunder damage. Oh, it's got added in Pog. Do it! Win! Thunder damage. Uh, wait, you roll with a dagger for the damage. Yeah, he did. He did the dagger damage first, and now he's also getting no, the thunder rolled, damage. He'd used a whip. No, no, this is a he whip. rolled with the dagger damage instead of the whip damage. Exactly. Oh, let me check if they're different real quick. For him. Uh, no, they get the same amount of damage, so it's, it's fine. Uh, oh, then it's fine then. Yeah. That would be eleven damage in total for his two. Ooh. Are you attacking the Dragonborn or the Orc Guard? A or B? Trace 1122 Seda. So you guys just watch as first he swipes with a dagger in his left hand and it, and it just barely misses. Using the extra range from the dodge backwards from, from the Dragonborn, he cracks out his whip hits the guard's center uh, chest, and this giant boom that forcibly makes you cover your ears just comes out of nowhere like a crack, sending the guard flying, and he hits the wall behind him, Get um, um, and it just immediate makes him face plant onto the ground, and he's not moving. A single hit, and the guard is down. Oh my god. He barely got Trace 1122 said high smiling face hey, with open mouth hey, and Dragon smiling Board, eyes. Get your fucking ass back up. <laughs> he can't hear you. I know, that's the point. I, He's I unconscious. Go, I'm making a point to the other guards. Get your ass back up. Can I go over god, and make sure nothing. He's, hot, he's not dying? Make a medicine check, Smokey. Okay. 19. Yeah, he could use some help. All right. Uh, I'm gonna use cure wounds on him then. Okay. So he's back up again. Go ahead and roll for nice how much you heal. Wait, but is he going to continue attacking even though he got knocked Ten. out? Okay. That 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 should just automatically put him out of the duel, right? So it doesn't matter. Right. So you go watch because Smokey runs over and you see a green, yellowish kind of aura overtake the guard as uh, Smokey puts his hands on him, and then the guard just wakes up, just coughs. Dries one thousand really one hundred and twenty two said I turn to the remaining guard and say and you got then, better. Um uh, just like what happened? You got your shit rocked. That's what happened. 
I just burst out laughing. I'm out of the duel? You yes. Yeah. Yes, you're you out of the duel. You got knocked out with one hit like a bitch. <laughs> you start mm. laughing my ass off. Okay, so you turn to her main guard and say you got better, and the American guard's just like, this wasn't my idea. He volunteered me. It's, I'm good. Hey, well, You're good. Yeah, let's let's good. just, we're all good here. Good. He's saying all this with his hands up, looking at that whip, just like, oh, hell no. <laughs> what the hell is that? God. Trace 1122 on. said I give him an evil grin. Grin. I, I, <laughs> I am so baffled that 11 damage. 11 damage. Trace 1122 said It's not just the 11 damage. Remember, I described him as getting uh, basically clapped into the wall. Yeah. And I rolled the damage privately for that, too. How much was that? It's That's for over. me to know. But it's already over. That's for me to know. Okay. And with that duel completed and the um, entrance of the city comes up, this is actually the perfect spot for us to end the session Thank early. You. That Trace way you guys are perfectly ready for the said good. Uh, murder mystery next week. God, oh, gosh. Trace 1122 said awesome. <laughs> Thank you for watching and listening. I appreciate you fuckers. And please, have a great day.